So I wanted to share um, a video because I had um, an experience today um, with um, a lady. So I, you know, and we're talking about religion and everything. So I just kind of wanted to record my audio and explain what happened. So today, um, we, I'm at my knitting club that I go to on Monday after learn, uh, after, afternoons, and I am, uh, learning how to knit, and, um, a lady comes in and everything, you know, she's, she's a member of the knitting club, and, um, she, we kind of get on to some sort of a topic, and she, she, you know, she's a, she's a white woman and everything, everybody in my knitting club is either white or Asian, and, um, she says, oh, she goes into the story, and she says, um, how she was dating a Muslim, uh, you know, 20 years ago, and she said, I would never, and she starts up the conversation, and she says, I would never date a Muslim, and she just basically said, um, but she wouldn't tell me why, what exactly was wrong with him, and she said, you know, she's, she's a white lady like myself, and she said that she, um, dated a Muslim, and she, she wouldn't tell me exactly what, 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 why she had a problem with him, but she said she would never do it again, and then, um, you know, she said that he was from Iraq, and she said that, um, you know, he had been, he had been living there when, you know, during the Gulf War and before the Gulf War and everything, um, when Saddam Hussein was completely running the whole show, and, um, she said that this guy that she had dated, um, that he had had his wife and his daughter murdered in front of him, and then she said that she, like, uh, I don't know, she said that he had been through, like, a lot and everything, and that he was a schizophrenic, and he was just really traumatized from, the war and uh you know stuff like that and she said that he was a muslim and she said that he had to live underground when saddam hussein was just kind of you know going on a rampage and then um anyway she said she didn't tell me exactly why she wouldn't date a muslim and after that after she explained her story for about five minutes i said well you know not all Muslims are like that, and then, um, I said, oh, and then I said to her, um, you know, because as, if you're a viewer and you're a subscriber out to my channel, um, you've probably, you know, I, I, I have had some videos and everything about, I have, my grandma's sister is in her 80s, she's probably like 85, and she, she's, she has Mars in her ninth house, and she's just so over-the-top religious, and she's just trying to push her religion on everybody. So anyway, I say to this lady at the knitting club, I said, well, you know that not all, all Muslims are like that. I said, you know, anybody of any religion can force their religion on you. And I said, I have an aunt that's a Christian, and she's a religious extremist. And this lady says, oh, I'm a religious extremist. And then um, she says to me, so when you get into heaven and God asks you why you should be to heaven, what are you going to answer him? And I told him, um, I said, well, you know, I, I roughly said, I mean, not for word for word, but I said to her, I am just going to say to God that I put my best foot forward and uh, I tried to do the best that I could. So anyway, um, you know, of course, I'm into, you know, Pega and Wicca, and I'm, I'm into, you know, I was watching, like, hours and hours of spiritual videos and everything like that uh, last night, and I've lately been into Christianity and listening to some Christian sermons this week and everything, and I thought it was a very important topic, so I wanted to do an audio about this conversation that I had with this lady at my knitting group, and, um, 
Anyway, I just kind of wanted to get your opinions about it because I, I thought it was too bad. I mean, she wouldn't exactly say why she wouldn't date a Muslim again. Maybe she had a bad experience and, you know, she didn't want to date that again. But I was trying to explain to this lady that anybody of any religion can, you know, put, push their religion into somebody else's faces. And I just kind of want to make a video because the only thing I am fine with you know and i made a religion you know i made a video specifically on this and i said i i am fine with all religion oh and this is what i told her and i told everybody the knitting group i said listen lady i think 99 percent of all religions are good i think i am very supportive of any religion that has to do with helping other people and um i just kind of wanted to make a video like that because i think you know religion um is you know an important topic to me and I just, the only thing that I don't like is when people are narrow-minded and somebody doesn't like somebody because they're Catholic or because they're a Jew or whatever. And so maybe this lady, um, I don't know exactly why she had a problem with this guy that she was dating from Iraq, but she said that she would never do it again. And she seemed to me like she had some sort of the same um, religious extreme views that my aunt had uh so anyway i it was an important topic to me so i just decided to make an audio and uh record this about my um you know the the conversation that i had with this woman